Yeah, hello, this is Jan reporting from the Super Booth in Berlin, and I'm uh, at the Clavis Booth, uh, known for the Twin Wave uh, Oscillator module for Eurorack. And I'm here with Eric. Hello. Uh, bonjour, Eric. Hello, good, good to see you. Hello. Uh, thank you to Gearslots having a look at what we do at Clavis. So I will cover what we have here in store. So initially, the first one I want to let you have a look at is the mix switch, which is already available, which is not known yet because it's quite uh, recent. It's the mashup of a mixer and a sequential switch. So you have two pair, you have a pair of uh, two to one mixers that can combine in four to one with lean lock, polarity inversion, to global mute, the lock, lock curve change, where the pot become actually real lock all in, depending on what you want to do. And if you activate it at the bottom, there's that switcher thing which transforms it into a sequential switch where all four or only two of the inputs can be selected either by clock, which is quite usual, but also by a CV, which is less usual. The thing has also random modes and so on. So by default, some voltage processing, wave shaping, it goes very fast, fast enough to process audio at cycle, cyclic rate, even with wave, complex waveforms. So a, a very versatile tool. This one is already available. Then we move to the Logica XT, which is the, the successor of the previous Logica Gator. So you find absolutely everything you had in the previous product. And the reason is that we had so much feedback about this nice product that we improved it a lot without even changing the price. This one will be avail available in a couple of, of weeks. And what it does is that now the user can store changes, pre-setting pre things. And even there is a delay line with over 5,000 points in storage. So a quite powerful product for people who like logic things. Next on, we move to our Quad EG, which is our big monster that should be available before the end of the year. It's a quad envelope generator where it, you can select which envelope you want to edit. You see actually the changes in real time. You can modify curves, as you could see, things like that. You can change the, the, the timings. You can see the various fader settings in the display. You can see the flow of the wave by the phase LEDs on the top above the, the, the faders. And to make a change, you modify the value. And as soon as you grab it, it, it lits, so which is very useful for doing changes. Important thing here, because we have four envelopes, you can edit more than one at once. Here, all of them. So a single change can apply to all envelopes at once. It has a lot of features, many timings beyond ADSR, like pre-delay, some punch plateau thingy, some masking, some modes. There is a full list of, of settings to, to do. It's able to do cycle modes, self-adapting to the cyclic. It sticks and expands, stretches the whole envelope so that it follows the tempo all automatically. You can move each envelope separately, put them at different phases. You have a CV matrix where you have almost 150 matrix points. With each of them, you can have a separate level and polarity. So for example, here I'm modifying with a CVB here. So you see the B, you see the CV matrix. In the middle, I have, I have my, my, uh, my zero. And above, I apply a modulation, a positive modulation. And if I go below mid, I apply a negative modulation. And it is all available for all parameters or all envelope, all at once from all sources. <laughs> you have presets, of course, because such complexity required to store things. And then, for example, you have special features for live, like the global, where all four faders are controlling each a separate envelope. The global time is a setting that stretches all time-related settings at once for the whole envelope. So with a single slider, you can control the duration of the sound from a few milliseconds up to several minutes. So that's almost it for it. We move now to the last one, or calibrated transposer, Caltrans. You bring four volt octave, you go to four oscillators, four VCOs, up to four VCOs. Typically, the goal here is to correct the, the bad behavior of, of analog VCOs, uh, not besides just making the, 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 the perfect volt octave tracking. It also allows to expand. Let's say the last octave is not OK. It, it, it can do it. Even if it needs two volts to make a single octave, it can do that. So the first phase of learning, once it's inside the machine, you can now start playing. And then comes the fun, transposing. 
From that point, you don't use the core setting on your oscillators. You only use here semitone change, octave change. Here too, you can apply setting to more than one oscillator at once. So I make all these three oscillators going octave, one octave down, two semi up. For each, for each, uh, for each oscillator, you can apply a quantizer so that I will activate it for those two. From now on, I have a quantizer in semitone for these two oscillators, which is reminded to me with the blips. And then you have also, you can do a load, which memory, number memory three, you can do a save, save memory four. These are these yellow ones at the top. And just to make it nice in the end, by holding any of the four voices and changing that knob, you apply a portamento. Changing that one, you apply a glissando. And both can be done together and separately for each of the channels. That covers it.